Okay, level two, let's talk about the speed of movement that you're gonna be participating in over the next six weeks. You have two of them, two different speeds of movement and one you're very familiar with. And the first one is as simple as just working that same high speed stuff that has worked so well for you in level one. So I'll demonstrate that one here in a minute, but the second one is a more moderate pace for the eights and the twelves. Well, I'll demonstrate both of you. Let's start with the five to eight rep range and how that should look. Okay, just like you know, just like from before, anytime you're doing one of the between five and eight in that rep range, you're always gonna groove that first rep and then the next four are much faster. Now, if you do that right, you're gonna create quite a bit of tension on the muscles through the recoil. The recoil is what's the most important part there. So you've been really successful at doing that. My one urge to you is to form up and make sure that we're not going ludicrous speed. I'm not asking for that. I'm just asking for a fast explosive movement, not out of control. Okay, now when you're doing the eight to 12 rep sets, you're going to use a different speed than the explosive speeds. We're gonna call this a more moderate speed. And this speed looks a lot like what you're used to seeing people who do weightlifting. This one's gonna look a lot more like theirs. Now, we'll take the first place that you're gonna see this is on International Bench Day. You're gonna be doing an incline press, okay? That incline press needs to be done between eight and 12 repetitions at a much more moderate speed you're gonna take a lot of time to really form up on these. Those should look something like this. You'll start here in position, you'll push till the arms are all the way out to where you're gonna stop. Notice that mine aren't straight. And then we're gonna bring them back down and feel the stretch. Feel the stretch, feel the stretch. Nice, moderate movements all the way along. Notice that I really don't need to groove that first repetition because every one of them should look a lot like the groover rep on your high speed stuff. So those are the two different rep speeds that we're gonna use over the different sets that we're gonna use. So, so let us know if you have any questions about those two different speeds in the comments below.